We're all set to go. Okay. All right. Let's go. This is Officer Matias Ferreira's first week as a Suffolk County, New York police officer. All right. But the 28 year old is no rookie. Rather, it's been a long, painful road getting to this point. I was like, wow, I'm so young. I'm not sure if I'm going to even be able to stand again. That moment was five years ago, soon after fulfilling a dream of becoming a Marine. 9-11 was definitely a big impact and uh, a big turnaround for, you know, actually going through with my dreams. His first deployment brought him to Afghanistan. During a raid, he jumped on a hidden IED. Fall in on a 30 pound bomb, which uh, when it was set off, my legs were both amputated below the knees. I remember, you know, the medevac coming in and my guys putting me on a stretcher and putting me on the helo and saying, hey man, you're going to be okay, you're going to be all right. Any anger that this happened? No, there's surprisingly, there's no anger. You know, I was very blessed to survive the blast. And so for me to point any fingers at anybody would just be silly. I was just pointing fingers at people to help me, like, hey, you, I want you to help me walk. And I know that you run. I want you to help me continue to run. He walked, he ran, and it only took him three months of rehabilitation. His next challenge to join the police force. The Marine veteran, who also once saved a baby from a smoldering car crash, knew he had a tough road ahead, academy training, this time going through it as a double amputee. There was an exercise that we did, it's called the fist man, and that's when you are simulating with the baton use. And there was one time where the fist man proceeded to attack me and I fell on the ground. And to them, it was a, a good test to see if I would be able to get back up. And um, I was able to just pop back up. Why was it so important to you that you were able to do everything equally? It wouldn't be fair that I was given, you know, something on a, on a golden platter. We have learned a lot. In these Ferreira graduated the academy president of his class, an honor given to him by his fellow recruits. And now in uniform again, he's an inspiration to the community he serves. I try to get myself involved in anything I can to help somebody's bad day turn into a good day. Bringing grass, CNN, New York.